it's not about who you know and how good your relationship is. It's now about just how many followers you've got, of which, Michael, a third of all internet traffic is fake. One third of all internet traffic around the world is bot driven. Between 25 and 30% of all LinkedIn profiles and social media profiles are fake. They're not real people. We live in a world of fakeness. Uh, you can fake people's faces, you can fake people's voices, you can fake people online. Um, it's just become a, a fake fest. I just made that up right there and then. It really is, but the, it, 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 we, we joke, but it's true. Hello, this is Michael Tellinger, and today I'm talking to my good friend, Scott Kundle, about introductions in business, networking, how do you know if somebody is uh, going to be beneficial to your business? Are you talking to a real person in a, in a world where it's becoming very difficult to know who you can trust? Scott Kundle has developed something that is truly remarkable and a new revolutionary way to meet people and be introduced to people in, the business, in a business environment that will hopefully benefit your business and vice versa. So, Scotty, welcome. Great to see you as always. Uh, and let's talk about your business, which is truly amazing. I know I'm a part of it. The One Small Town um, um, in initiative is part of my most trusted. And uh, so tell us about it, because times are tough and rough and people don't know who to trust. How do you know if somebody you meet on the Internet is even real? Is it AI? You know, <laughs> this is a really very important discussion to have right now. Absolutely, Michael. And it's really great. Eh? Thank you. You know, I go so far back. <laughs> um, absolutely. Yeah. So what can I say? We live in a world of fakeness. Uh, you can fake people's faces. You can fake people's voices. You can fake people online. Um, it's just become a, a fake fest. I just made that up right there and then. It really is. But the, it, it, we, we joke, but it's true. And um, we spent the last three years developing a system that will allow business people to only deal with authentic people that they know and trust or somebody that they know, knows and trusts. So over the last couple of years, we've put together the system that allows, just facilitates warm introductions for business people so that they know that every single person they're dealing with has been meticulously added and verified one by one so that it is somebody that they know or somebody that they know. It's a bit like what LinkedIn should have been before it became corrupted by the dark forces and it just became this awful place, <laughs> you know. Yeah. And I think uh, I think when we first spoke about my most trusted, when you first introduced me to it about a year ago or so, or maybe even uh, earlier than that, um, I was just amazed again at your at your amazing mind. And for those who don't know Scott Kundle, this is a guy that's one of the most out of the box thinkers that I've ever met, Scotty. And I must say that to your face as well. You know, I think that you're one of the most amazing, innovative thinkers that I have ever met. For everything that you've done with your you know, online um, communication systems over the years with, uh, with Majestic and now my most trusted and evolution of that, which is truly spectacular. And it comes at a time when it's most needed because you know, I don't know who to trust. And I know from my personal experiences how I've been ripped off and lied to by people around the world uh, that are trying to infiltrate the One Small Town initiative and trying to undermine us and trying to undermine our success um, and it's very difficult to know who you can trust these days. And this is why I want to do this interview with you uh, to for people to realize that there is a way. And my most trusted seems to be the, the, the thing that you've created. Once again, coming up with a, an incredible innovation that I really take my hat off to you. No, oh, thanks, Michael. In fact, it's actually uh, a lot of your stories that you told me and what you're doing at One Small Town has inspired me generally as well. But I used to just you, you, I remember you told me a few stories over the years where you've spoken to someone in business and they've just ripped you off for whatever reason. Uh, it happens to all of us and it's just, it's frustrating and it's getting worse and worse and worse. And what we wanted to do is well, we wanted to go back to the old fashioned way of doing things, but use new technology. And what is that old fashioned way of doing things? It's like we would both be sitting in a bar having a brandy. It's like, hey, hello, Michael, how are you today? Oh, Scotty, it's been so long because I haven't seen you. Who have you met today? I've met the head of the Baker's Guild. I've met the men of the, the mayor of this and I've met the... Who have you met, Scotty? Well, I've met this person and this person. Well, why don't I introduce you to this person and you introduce me to this person? And it, business was done on this word of mouth relationships and it was very, very strong and very powerful. And now we've lost this in favor of these horrible ads hitting us on screen with some 
big dude with muscles telling that if you don't buy his product, he's going to jump in a pool. Stupid stuff. If you've seen that ad, that just inundates you with this falseness, fakeness, Instagram. No one is real. This bring, tries to bring it back to that authentic business self and the way that we we work together in business by allowing me to have a glimpse into your little pocketbook because I trust you and you trust me and you can do the same for me and then we can facilitate warm introductions and referrals. So what you've in essence created is in a world where we have AI and impersonating people and human beings, you've found a way to circumvent this situation where you know you're talking to a real human being because that human being has been vetted by you know two or three or four, 10 other people and you can see the connectedness you I mean, I guess AI can impersonate that as well, but your system is a truly human kind of interaction um, method that you've come up with. And that's why I love the way you think and the ideas that you come up with, because you're a true innovator and you have been for 30 years um, and uh, that I've known you, I think, for a long time now. And um, and and, and that, uh, once again, you come up with a, an amazing way to circumnavigate the potential that AI can infiltrate you and destroy your business and create it my most trusted where it's real, real introductions. And I don't even know how else to put it because it's mm. becoming so difficult these days to even what is real now. So please explain a little bit more about how this happens. Yes. Okay. So the first thing to notice is that um, we've you can't eliminate the fakeness from the world completely. You can only reduce it as much as possible. Uh, and that's what we've done. Um, so we've it's a, it's basically a Chrome extension, which you install on Chrome, takes about five seconds, Google Chrome uh, or Microsoft Edge. We are going to build a, a Firefox and Safari version. You install it. So that immediately cuts 99% of the bots away because they can't do that. If somebody really wanted to get in, they can. But then they would get shut down at the next step because in order to be able to add people you must already know them. You must manually add them one by one. So we, we've made it difficult to add people. It's very easy to add them, but it's difficult to add lots of people at once. So you can't go, well, I know these thousand people. Let me bulk import it into my system, which is what all the LinkedIn and social media tools let you do right at the beginning. If you remember, they just said, just add everyone. We don't care who they are. Just shove them in. We want as many contacts. And, it, and now we have these vanity metrics. It's not about who you know and how good your relationship is. It's now about just how many followers you've got, of which, Michael, a third of all internet traffic is fake. One third of all internet traffic around the world is bot driven. Between 25 and 30% of all LinkedIn profiles and social media profiles are fake. They're not real people. Never mind this is that people are using VAs, et cetera. It's, it's fake. Yeah, this is this is probably the thing that we should have started this uh, this conversation with is one third of what contact on the internet is fake. I mean, yes. that's a serious statistic. Yeah, that, that is that's like, I'm I'm still trying to process that statement. When it comes to comments on posts, it's closer to half are fake. They're not real people. Sometimes it can be a real person, but it could be someone's virtual assistant or somebody's logging into that profile to do it. But it's not that it's not the owner of the profile who's legitimately there responding to a comment. How do I know this? Because I know the people that have built the software tools that automate this. And big corporations pay millions and millions of dollars so that they can actually go and have bots look through social media posts, right? Because the social media companies open a back door to these companies who can do that. And they go, look for anybody who's talking about sore skin, painful skin, irritating skin. Um, find anybody on Facebook, anybody on LinkedIn, anybody on Instagram talking about skin. And I want you to please go in there and make a little comment about, oh, I tried this particular product and it worked brilliantly. It's mm -hmm. all fake, but they're so good at it. Wow. You will not know it's not a real person genuinely saying, oh, I had this irritating skin and I used oil of flipping duvet or whatever it's called. And then I, it, 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 it's cured me. Up. It's all fake, Michael. It's not real. Yeah, and, and people don't want and, to. And I've just, I've just found out recently as well that there they are now these fake um, uh, social media uh, promo companies that, that shoot little videos to promote products that, that are just fake products and and are completely useless and they got you know thousands if not millions of people making videos for products that are completely useless to sell them online so this is what what you're doing with the most trusted eliminates all of that kind of potential um 
corruption. Or yes, exactly. And for those power. of you you're watching this right now, if you look over Michael's right shoulder, just next to him is that little vase. Now, that little vase is actually a magical vase that if you put it in your house, it will completely eliminate cancer and all diseases from your house. And if you buy it right now, you know, for $99 um, plus shipping and handling and delivery, um, we'll give you a, a vase. It's, I, you, I could make it up right now and we could have a little yeah. shopping thing and it will be click to buy. That's it's horrific what's going on. Yeah. So, so going back to what we've done is it's all about real, authentic, genuine relationships where if somebody knows somebody that referred you, your chance of getting ripped off is greatly reduced and your chance of getting a better price, the right price and the right information is going to be maximized because you're dealing with an old fashioned referral. So Scotty, how do people get involved? How do they start using My Most Trusted? Go to our website, which is uh, mymosttrusted.net. Um, we'll put it in the description if that's okay, Michael. Um, go to the website. It you'll, you'll see a Chrome extension. It takes about seven or eight seconds to install, another seven or eight seconds to get working. And then I've created a series of very, very short videos called the Chronicles of My Most Trusted that show you how it works. But you can get up and running within, within minutes. Um, it's really not that difficult. But what matters, though, Michael, is that you have a mindset. If your mindset is I'm going to spam and I'm going to try and hard sell a product with all my might at this person to maximize the price, then this is the wrong platform for you. If you have a mindset of win-win strategies, partnerships, how we can create an amazing um, collaboration together, then you will build your network and have this incredible business network that you've, you, could, you could barely dream of locally in your own city or worldwide. Um, but you've got to have that right mindset, Michael. It's This is for people that genuinely want to form partnerships and relationships in business and are not out there just to flog uh, a little vase for $99. <laughs> well, that's great. Uh, I love it. And what's the website again? Uh, www.mymosttrusted.net. Okay. So any final words, Scotty? Well, all I want to say is for you, for any. Anybody out there who who is worried about um, about meeting people in the business world, expanding, you know, it's making sales, uh, reach, uh, making business partnerships, striking business partnerships, and so forth, um, and doing trade around the world. That's a big thing, obviously. Trade, export, import, sales, and um, and innovation. IP, all these things. There. So my most trusted is a good place to go to to know that you're going to meet people who are real. They're not fake. They're not bots. They've been re recommended by others and referred by others and uh, developing a trusted, real, authentic network of business partners um, in whatever it is that you're doing. So go to mymosttrusted.net. And uh, I can just say once again, Scotty, well done. And thanks for being such a supporter of once more town for all the years and the Ubuntu movement before that. And um, it's great to have you as a friend. And uh, I trust that my most trusted is just going to explode with people that want to make real authentic connections. Thanks so much, Michael. And well done, man. I'm so proud of what you built with Once More Town. It's just, uh, it's just magnificent. All right, well, until next time. Bye for now.